Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday, 29 September 2023. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly Deputy Features Editor Donna Slater discovers how vast South Africa's wind energy potential is and that it's not geographically constrained. Despite no wind energy projects being selected as preferred bidders in the sixth bid window of the Renewable Energy Independent Power Producer Procurement Programme, the South African Wind Energy Association says there is significant untapped wind potential in South Africa, with viable wind resources even being identified in areas previously not considered a first choice for wind energy project developments. The engineering news features focus on a preview of the manufacturing in Daba, where the organizers are preparing for the biggest event yet. Wind energy, where offshore wind energy offers value to the energy mix. And a profile of the National Association of Automotive Components and Allied Manufacturers, where the NARCAM show hits top gear. The Mining Weekly features focus on mining in Botswana, where simulators drive safety at a diamond mine and coal, where an anthracite shaft is on track for its scheduled production. This week's business leader is Bulelwe Mshlongo, financial manager at Meltotech. And as this week's cartoon shows, South Africa's national accounts are facing pressures from every angle and revenue collection is underperforming. As if this were not enough, cutting inefficient expenditure is politically unpopular as an election looms. We hope you enjoy this week's edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly. Be sure to subscribe to the magazine that offers you in-depth news about developments in the real economy by emailing subscriptions at engineeringnews.co.za. Happy reading and see you next time.